Hello there, my name is Fernando and I'm a developer advocate here at GitLab. And today I'm going to introduce you with one of the newly released features within GitLab 17.2. I'll be going over the extended support for remote rule sets in secret detection, allowing you to use one rule set configuration in a remote location to load and populate the rules for the secret detection analyzer simplifying the way that you configure secret detection for multiple projects. Now let's get started. Remote secret detection rule sets can now be configured or extended via two new types of pass-throughs, which include Git and URL. Additionally, the secret detection analyzer now supports the chaining of up to 20 pass-throughs in a single configuration to replace predefined rules, the inclusion of environment variables in pass-throughs, the ability to set a timeout when loading a pass-through, and validation of TOML syntax in the rule set configuration. Here we have a project which contains custom secret detection rules. Within our secret detection rule set.toml, we can see that there are additional rules for detecting social security numbers, which are a form of PII data or personal identification information. You can see the links in the description to learn more on how to add or configure a rule set. Now I'll navigate over to IRS audits, which is the project where I want to apply this new rule set. In my .gitlab CI YAML, you can see the IPASS variables in order to enable the git reference to the custom configuration. And I also enable the secret detection historic scan to see all the secrets detected within previous commits as well. Here is a merge request where I've introduced a new social security number to my document. The first thing we notice is that approval is required before this can be merged. This is because merge request approval policies integrate directly with secret detection, which now detects a social security number as a vulnerability. When clicking on a vulnerability, I'll see the data that's populated from the rule set that I have configured. From here, you can also dismiss the vulnerability or create an issue to assign a developer to address later. When clicking on the location, we can see that we're directed to where the new social security number is present. These custom vulnerabilities will also be present within the vulnerability report where they can be managed and triaged, which shows full native integration. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. To learn more about the GitLab 17.2 release, as well as the feature we went over in this video, see the links in the description and make sure to click that like and subscribe button 